problem with hospice, I was visiting uh, a buddy of mine's dying mother in, in hospice and uh, you know, air conditioning's cranked because uh, they don't need to heat those things. But uh, man, the uh, the mood is bad. Jerry, free Jerry. Everybody was screaming at the hospice. Free Jerry. That's not right. Free anything. Jerry. Not right Too much stink <laughs> in that there building. Well, we used to walk those halls at two in the morning. The cries, the screams, the smells. The smell is something or other. Not I believe grandma. it. She's not grandma anymore. Sorry. I was bringing a bouquet of flowers into the room, you know, to lighten the mood. And uh, they actually. Uh, my buddy Joff, uh, he's a bit of a drinker, so I mm -hmm. snuck a bottle of booze in yeah. uh, to the flowers. You're a good soul. Room, and uh, I think he appreciated it. Yeah. It's hard to tell, you know, when they're in that state, but, you know, old memories do die hard, harder than the body sometimes. And uh, he probably saw that bottle, and although he couldn't tell you exactly, he was thinking it and sweet relief is what he experienced when that hit his lips. Jerry, free Jerry, free Jerry. It's like it's open pool and no one's going on break and no one's getting snacks. I don't think you can't run it that way. I don't think that's the problem. No one's thinking. I don't so, think Jerry's coming back. He's probably at the bottom of that pool. You're not supposed to sit on those drains with your ass. They can suck. Hey, Casablanca? No, Casa Miyagi. Free Jerry! Free Jerry! Free. Nothing's free in this cesspool. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Cans. Um, Child Adult Nutrition Services. All kinds of requirements to be met. It, it, it made the school lunches. Uh, it made them meet a requirement that the state would actually give money back. But uh, there was a snack option, and that's kind of what I want to hit on as uh, snack time. <laughs> <laughs> snack time. Hey, you don't look like you're doing so hot over there, mister. I don't feel very well. Oh? And a lot of it has to do with some of the discrepancies on our last segment about torta versus torte. Yeah, that left me a little sick to my stomach, too. <sighs> Jeez, that's not even really an area that's debatable. Why are people so hot on that? I don't know. But, you know, I'm a Torte fan, and, um, you know, if that rubs you the wrong way, good. T tortas. Tortas. Are you kidding me? Are you being funny? Are you being automated? I am talking like a robot. Look at me. I am a fax machine. Oh, you're I right. just received your editor letter. From the editor. You're an editor. Things go in polar opposite directions. Uh, tiny things. Often, you know, it, it changes the way you feel about things. It changes the way that you, that you enjoy things. It changes the way that you eat ice cream. It changes the way that you speak to uh, a lover. I had a lover when he was young. I was younger. I was youngest. I still feel young. This goddamn ice cap. 
these polar clips, these flares, these flares of love. It's like tearing the polar ice caps off of their little human bodies. talk yourself into that trouble. well i i remember one specific sunday i got i was down i was like this and i was i had this trowel you know and i'm and 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 uh he had said uh would you like some lemonade and oh my gosh. and i just said one one and you know i was playing on words yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, did I, he get upset or did he, did, was he in on it? No, he, well, he, I mean, he knew I was doing hard, hard labor. I, you know, I mean, I, when you see those convicts out digging trenches, picking up garbage, yeah. I mean, that's essentially what I was doing to her. And, wow. and wow, yeah, wow. so that troweling work and that deck work, it's odd how some people are into that kind of thing. You know, and, you know, she, I've heard about her before. So, and that's why I've always wanted to meet, meet her, but that's an odd thing to get into, but you know, I'm into odd things. Well, no, I am too. And, and I tell you what, he paid me. Yeah. Oh, cash, cash money. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. That's some good lemonade. God, I hate that thing. What the heck? Why are you going to be such a dull? Get the heck out of here. Ghost core. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I go in, I do, I don't like to, I don't like to jump on them. You know, I like to come in, I introduce myself. I don't go into the back door and do like surprise inspections or anything like that. I've heard good things about, about the ghost core. Uh, yeah. Their, their meals, they, uh, they, some of them keep you up at night, but I, uh, Went in, you know, met with management. You could tell right away things were a little odd because because people were very were greeting me right away. You know, I felt like I was being slowed down. But regardless, they were all being very nice, and I kept my pace. You know, I, I've been there before, like in this situation, so I'm not going to let up. And I, I kept walking, and I headed to the back, and uh, I you know those big walking coolers. I opened that door and. Boom. My foot is in raw meat. And I'm like, <laughs> it's on the floor. It's <laughs> raw meat on the floor. Oh. My foot is in it. And I'm asking myself, what in the world? And this was at the corridor? This is the corridor. And, and I just, I look at my foot and, you know, that I didn't wear my shoes or socks that day. So it was really weird to have that feeling of raw meat between your toes um and it, it's an odd the meat itself not only was it odd that it was on the floor between my toes but it was also a ghostly meat it had this odd texture and color to it and, and if you ask me i don't even know how i felt it it was ghostly i've heard of a group of people that 
kind of get into this meat fetish. People are paying for that then? They're paying to do it. And then there are some real sick people that are paying to serve it. Oh, so, you know, and they try to tell me that that's their preferred, their customer base. And I'm like, sorry, I don't care who's doing this or who's into this. This is not code. Yeah, I, well, I'm going to have to get a hold of my dad, officer, and, and see because that, that sounds real out of character, especially for the COVID. I mean, wow, yeah. That that place is normally. I have to keep it in mind, you know, going into those places because you because because of you know the witchery and and the hexings, and but that just blew me away. But um, you're you're, <laughs> I know you pretty well, David. But you're not a meat stepper, are you? Well. That's, you know, that's the funny thing about it, because... You're not a meat stepper, are you? Now, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, there's a pizzeria in Salem, Massachusetts called Coven Pizza. Hellfire Hot. Wow, that sounds like a good place to get a slice. You know, and it's it's pizza that, you know, it probably comes with a story. Well... In fact, it does. The building on 1313 Lard Lane, I find that a funny name. I find it kind of offensive. Uh, that's a different topic. But 1313 Lard Lane actually was the original courthouse for the, the county chair who had... Uh, exercise demons with these witch trials oh yes that yes i remember those witch trials they were what was what was that that was 1492 if i remember yes right. and yeah. coven pizza oh you can get a hot slice oh, there my well you know that kind of pizza comes you know at a price though because you know if you're going to make a pizza in a place of that with that kind of story, demons, witchcraft, they're gonna there's gotta be some sort of hex on that pizza. Do you risk it? You do. You do, because I've been there. I've been there multiple times. You've seen me. Oh, yeah. Ah um, that's your hex. Yeah. Well, you carry that around uh, in that tire over there. Yeah, I know. Hmm. They're the, they're gonna get you on that one. The crust at the coven is light flaky just a burn around the edges you just that you must get it really hot. into black yeah it it to the point where in the middle of the pie in the middle of the pie it almost it's not cold but it's not cooked but man, that edge, that back edge, browned and blacked, I bubbled. It. I could see it. Bubbled, but the middle, just a slight bit icy, not wow. frozen, so but cold. To me, have, that that sounds like it might be off-putting. But you're saying that transition temperature is desirable. It's perfect because when I sat. With the couple I was with, it came dished out. You pulled it, and you could actually put your hand, this hand, underneath the middle piece, which was not piping hot, so it did not hurt. It was not uncomfortable. You fed that, and as you got in, ow, 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 the warmth, the flavor, the pizza, you thought it was a big slot.